welcome back. So today I have another fun video for you. So it's finally hit, it's rainy season, at least here it is. And it's probably gonna be rainy season for the next several months. So I wanted to talk to you today about some bag choices I've been making recently and thinking about that. So first things first, I know you're all familiar with the scenario I'm about to paint. You have your brand new beautiful handbag you're gonna take out for its maiden voyage and you're really excited about it. So you take your bag out, go run your errands, and as you're heading back to your car, Oh no, it's rainy. And it's raining pretty hard. And the first thing I do at least is I just start praying. And of course that doesn't work, so it rains even harder. So then you make that quick decision to say, all right, I just need to do it. Um, so I put the bag under my shirt or sweater and quickly run to the car as fast as I can. I look like a total crazy person. My husband is always embarrassed of me when this happens. Um, but nonetheless, I gotta do what I gotta do. So when I get to the car, um, you think, you know, all is good. But that's really when I start getting terrorized because I can't help but repeatedly check over and over if there's any damage to my beautiful new handbag. So I check the leather areas, the trim, look for any water spots, try to wipe off all the water spots as best I can with my arm or my sleeve. And this doesn't end there. For the next days to weeks, even longer than that, I'm always checking on those little spots. So I know you've all been there, as I have many times. So hopefully this video will help you in terms of making selections of your handbags um, the mornings of rainy weather, or even if you're gonna be around kids more. So the sticky fingers can often be worse than bad weather. So hopefully these tips will help you. So first I'm gonna start off with three general tips that I think about in terms of looking for carefree bags. The first tip is to consider the material or trim. And of course, this is probably the main one or most important uh, factor to consider. So we all, of course, are concerned about untreated leather. So untreated leather means that it's not protected leather, ones that will beautifully age with time, however, are very prone to watermarks and other types of stains and damage. So classic one is the paqueta on the Louis Vuitton bags. Um, otherwise, some natural calfskin bags, as I have on my Cabas Phantom Tote from Celine, all fall under this category. So if I think there's a chance that there's gonna be rainy weather, or I'm gonna be around kids a lot during the day, I tend to steer clear of bags with paqueta or untreated leather. It's really hard to get rain spots out of these bags. And likewise with scratches, it's difficult to get them out. So I uh, prefer to avoid those bags in these situations. So besides considering the untreated leather of Raketa, another material to steer clear from, in my opinion, is lambskin. So some beautiful bags are made in lambskin. I have a few of them. Um, for instance, the Chanel bags, I have a Gucci bag. These types of bags that are made of beautiful, smooth lambskin are more prone to scratches and water damage. So I also steer clear of those bags as well. And the third type of material or leather consideration to make is whether your bag is made of fabric. So for instance, I have a beautiful Chanel de Ville tote that I recently purchased, and it's made out of the denim material. So although you potentially could get it a little wet, and I think it would do fine, um, overall, because it's a denim material, I'm worried that it will soak in uh, water more than some of our other bags I'm about to mention. So for that reason, I tend to steer clear of untreated fabric bags as well. So besides the category of leather and materials to consider, another thing to think about is what color your bag is. So I'm talking about what color the material is, if it's fabric or canvas. If it's a light color, such as the Damier Azure from Louis Vuitton, that's something else I tend to steer clear from. Since it's canvas, it probably will be relatively water resistant if you do get it wet. However, I'm more concerned about stains here. So for instance, if you're wearing a dark colored shirt or jeans and that material gets wet, any wet fabric like that is more prone to release some of its dyes. So I think you'd be more prone to color transfer on your light colored fabrics and canvas. So for these reasons, I would steer clear of light colored materials when you're in bad weather. And the third consideration overall to make is what type of closure your bag has. So if your bag is a huge open pit with no closure, even though the material may be carefree, when you take it out in a heavy rainstorm, the water is going to get into the interior of your bag and potentially will damage the contents and also the lining of your bag. So that's something just to consider. If you have a big open uh, bag that is unable to close with a zipper or other secure closure, you might want to stay clear of those bags, especially if it's going to be raining pretty hard. So in general, those are the three major things I think about. Leather material, the color of the bag, and the type of closure your bag has when I'm considering what bags to take out for the day. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of examples of these that I have in my closet that I think would be excellent carefree bags to use in these situations. This is not going to be a review of the bags, however I will show you a brief overview of them. If you would like an in-detail review of any of these bags, of course please let me know, I'm happy to do so. One other quick disclaimer, although I'm calling these bags carefree, Really, they're not truly carefree. These are luxury designer handbags that really are investments for me, so I never really treat them as carefree bags. I'm always very cautious with them. But that being said, I purchase bags to use them, so even if the weather is not so great outside, I still wanna use my beautiful handbags. So hopefully these tips will help you decide uh, which ones to use. So I'm gonna start off by talking about the smaller bags first, and you'll see in the collection that there really is a bag for every occasion that can be carefree. So the smallest bag I have that I would consider carefree is the Chanel Walk, or Wallet on Chain. This is a beautiful handbag, and I think lends well to many different occasions. As you can see here, I have it as a clutch style version where the chain is inside of the bag. I think it's just beautiful for going out. If it's raining outside at night when you're going out, I think this would be a nice option to take as a clutch. The reason I say it's more carefree than some of my other bags is it's made of the caviar or more pebble texture leather. So that type of leather is more carefree than the lambskin. It also has a beautiful silver hardware as you can see here. So I have used this bag really for going out purposes and I have gotten it wet in the past and it has performed really nicely. So it has a pocket, a zip closure. I have some credit card holders in there just to keep it shape. And then it has this beautiful chain detail. So the chain as well has done quite well with uh, being exposed to the elements. And I haven't had any rusting or tarnishing of it. So it's a beautiful bag that I think lends itself very well to being used in not so great weather. The next bag in terms of size that I wanted to feature was something a little bigger than the walk and that's the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. So I think this is just an adorable bag. So this is the smallest size of the Palm Springs line, and it's the one with the adjustable straps. It's made out of canvas, so again, that's why I think it's carefree. The leather parts as well, it's the colored leather. And this is the padded calfskin that's in black. So there's absolutely no vaquetta on this bag, and it's made out of canvas. So for those reasons, I consider this a very carefree bag. I've used this quite a bit in winter months and it's done very well, it just wipes clean. It does have just one main zipped area and then a pocket in the back and then a small zipper part right here. This bag I either use as a traditional backpack with the straps or I tend to just hand carry it like this. I think this is a really cute look, just hand carrying this bag around. So to be honest, with my lifestyle, being a mom of four young kids, this is not really the most practical bag for me, but I just couldn't pass it up. I think it's adorable. So I still use it quite a bit, but I use it just for a couple of odds and ends for myself, including my essentials. It does hold quite a bit for its size but definitely not enough to hold things like diapers and diapering supplies, change of clothes and whatnot that you need for little ones. So I tend to use this for my stuff, then I will have to carry an extra diaper bag, either a tote or another larger backpack. But it works really well for my essentials. This is the bag that I actually still probably get the most compliments on in my entire collection. Um, so one that I'm really happy that I've added and works really well in a carefree way. So the next bag I wanted to mention is more of a medium style bag, I would say, and it's from Longchamp. So Longchamp line, as you know, is known for its beautiful nylon bags. This is a Longchamp Le Pliage Neo style. So it has the black textured leather, closure and handles. And what's nice about this version is it has a beautiful crossbody strap. So I use this quite a bit when I go out on the weekends with the kids. It can hold most of uh, my essentials in this bag as well, in addition to a couple diapers and wipes and a change of clothes. So it's really handy to take around on the weekends. And the body of the bag is this wipeable nylon. This is definitely a carefree bag, maybe even the most carefree one in my collection. And it's worn very well. I've had this for quite some time now and really doesn't show much wear. It has a snap closure here, 
And then a beautiful silver tone zipper in this case with a nice closure, pretty decent size opening with just one internal pocket. So any of the Longchamp nylon bags, I believe, would be great carefree bags. Probably the most carefree in my collection. And very, very affordable in terms of price point as well. The next bag I want to talk about is a little larger than the last one as well. And this is the one I'm currently using. It's the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier size 30. So as I mentioned in my Get to Know Me What's in My Bag video that I'll link down below, um, I love this bag. This is probably my most used bag in my entire collection, and it's largely because it is truly carefree in my opinion. It's a great size as you can see. I have it full now because I'm still using it, and it holds all of my essentials and my kids' essentials for a full day. It's very versatile with the handles and the shoulder strap, which is great as well. And it's made out of the Damieri Bean Canvas. So this canvas really is carefree. It's very wipeable. It's a dark color, so it doesn't show any stains or wear. And the treated leather with the bean bags is really what makes it carefree. I haven't had any scratches or any problems with the leather as well. And I've gotten caught in many rainstorms and in sticky situations in terms of sticky fingers with kids with this bag. And it still looks as good as new in my opinion. So this is probably my most used carefree bag. The next bag I wanted to talk about is slightly larger than my last bag and it's from a different fashion house. So this is one of my Burberry bags. So I have a couple of Burberry bags which I've had for years and haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of but in looking at it now I definitely need to start carrying this bag more. I think it's just beautiful especially in the rainy season. So this is the Haymarket Belted Tote from Burberry. I picked this bag up actually when I was in London many years ago. I wanted a beautiful souvenir from when I was there and I selected this bag. And this bag is truly carefree as well. It has a beautiful check plaid that Burberry is known for with a gorgeous leather belted detail at the top. All the leather is this colored leather or calfskin, including the handle. So there's absolutely no vaquetta on this bag. And the internal areas are also very spacious. There are three compartments, two kind of slip pockets and one main zipper pocket and a zipper pocket on the back wall with slip pockets included. So because there is a large internal zipper compartment there, any of your essentials that you absolutely can't get wet, I would put in there. And this bag, if you put over your shoulder, really has a secure closure in my opinion. So for that reason, I think the entry point makes it very carefree, but also the canvas material and the colored calfskin uh, leather as well makes it all carefree. So this bag would pair beautifully with the Burberry trench coats, and those are meant for the rain as well oftentimes, so I think that that's a great look together. And the price point is a lot lower than a lot of the other fashion houses I've talked about, so a great uh, potential starter bag. And the fifth uh, carefree bag that I have in my collection is the Celine Mini Luggage. It's in the color Moss Green. And if you haven't seen my review of this bag, please check it out below. I've reviewed this bag in detail in addition to the Celine Cabas Phantom Tote. So please check it out if you haven't yet. But this bag is just gorgeous. I have this one in the drummed calfskin. So because it's in the drummed calfskin or pebbled textured leather, this is truly a carefree bag in my opinion. There's absolutely no vaquetta on it, and it's very wipeable. As I mentioned in my previous video, I have used this bag on a daily basis essentially for work purposes, have gotten caught in the rain many times, and really hasn't had any damage because of it. My kids also touch this bag a lot because of the robot face, and there also aren't any damages from that as well. The nice thing about this bag, in addition, is that it has the zip top closure. So again, that was number three on my list of things to think about when you're choosing your bag for a carefree day. This has a secure closure. The leather is also carefree. So this is truly one of the most carefree bags in my collection. So I didn't want to mention just one more bag I consider an honorable mention. And it's the Louis Vuitton Never Full Damieri Bean in the MM size. So I know You've definitely seen this bag before. I have in the gorgeous bean print. So again, that makes it carefree because of the canvas. And the treated leather, just like the Speedy B30 I mentioned earlier, makes it carefree for that reason. 
I do have a beautiful luggage tag here, which I have stamped with my initials, and that's also in the bean, and I think it's a nice little bag charm. So this bag is maybe my second most used bag next to my Speedy. Um, I think that it's definitely something you can select to use in the rain. Why I say that it's just an honorable mention? Number one is because of the opening. So there is a clasp opening, as I'm sure you've seen before, but there's no large zipper opening for the entire bag. So for that reason, when you're out and about and you have this slung over your shoulder, although your arm can shut the bag a decent amount to protect it from getting rain inside, there are still openings on either side that are hard to close just by the nature of how this bag is shaped. So rain does get inside. And the other thing is the interior that I selected is the Rose Ballerine. So this is a beautiful color and I absolutely love the combination of light pink and brown so I went for it. I did think about it quite a bit though before I purchased this version because I was worried about wear and tear on the Rose Ballerine. So if you take this in the rain, you will get rain inside of the bag because it's hard to keep it entirely closed as I mentioned. And with the light interior, it does show in my opinion more wear than if you had for instance the red interior. And in general, this bag also shows more wear in terms of getting stains, dust, or lint inside because of the color that I selected. So for these reasons, I would consider this bag an honorable mention in terms of the level of how carefree it is. Now if you have the GM size or the larger size than this, I think it'd probably be even less carefree than the MM because if you have it slung over your shoulder, there's even more area for the rain to get into. So I'd be extra cautious with the GM version. Unless, of course, you cinch it in or are really able to hold it under your arm securely, um, that may work. But for the GM, I think it might be even harder to do so. So I think if you're going to pull out a Never Full for the rain, I'd probably go for an MM. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I just want to mention that these are definitely not truly carefree. They're beautiful luxury investment handbags. And I definitely don't forget that when I carry them. Hopefully by steering clear of some of your more delicate handbags, you're able to protect your investments all that much better. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me um, to have your subscription and support. Let me know down below if you'd like any detailed reviews of these bags or have any questions or comments about what I've mentioned today. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye!